Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a design tutorial uh, for print on demand. It's going to be completely free. Anybody can do this. Um, I have access here to the software called Kittle, and that's the software that's going to be what we're going to be using for our print on demand tutorial. Uh, it's a invite only platform, so I'm giving you guys my personal invite link. It's going to be in the description box down below, along with the pinned comment. You guys are going to get three. Uh, months free to the premium version of it uh, but you could always use the free version and um, there's no credit card required to sign up even if you're using the premium version so click the link in the description uh, box down below you'll get access to Kittle which is this software that I'm going to be using to actually go on and create the tutorial so if you have the time let's go ahead and get started and uh, let's create some epic print on demand t-shirt design so the first thing is after you sign up to Kittle you're gonna be able to either create your own new project by selecting a button up here that says create new project or you can go ahead and select one of these templates that somebody else has made and the cool thing is you get to edit these templates and create your own cool design out of it I've actually cr selected uh, one of the designs already and actually now that I've seen another design here I actually want to click on this and I want to give it a little favorite there so I can click on this and I'm gonna click use this design as well because I want to actually go ahead and use this later so here I have two designs I'm gonna work on one at a time and we're actually gonna be uh, editing these designs here uh, live so for print on demand uh, so when you're creating designs, before you even create your design, the first thing that you want to think of is a structure. And when I say structure, I want you guys to think of from a sales point of view, how to actually make money on these print on demand sites. When you think of T Public, when you think of um, Amazon, when you think of uh, Redbubble, when you think of any of these websites, Zazzle, when people are buying products, there's only two ways that they buy products. Either they are recommended a product, whether it be through an ad, through social media, through blogs, or through searching for the product. Does that make sense? So I want to be clear. A consumer buys a print-on-demand product by either finding the product, right, by searching for it, right, they look for it, or they are a pro the product is revealed to them. Whatever method that might be, it be, might be through an ad, might be through uh, organic marketing, whatever, whatever form it might be. Now, every single time that your design is being shown in front of a consumer, you want it to be attractive enough to catch the consumer's eye and to make the sale. This is why we've talked about how to actually do that through the, the courses that we have, the POD design course, right, to show how to design properly, and the Redbubble tagging course to, to learn how to tag and title properly so you actually can get a result out of your designs, right? It's not good enough to have the best design on the market, but it's, you know, because if you have the best design and you have no traffic, who's going to buy your product? The answer is absolutely nobody. If you have the worst designs and everybody sees your product, you're still not going to get any sales. So you need to have a happy medium of both, right? So if you need help with the traffic, you need help on all that kind of stuff, I'll leave these course links in the description box as well under the Kittle link. But let's go ahead and get into the designing. If I need some inspiration, I could always do a Google search, see some other websites uh, of like what they're doing, maybe some inspiration on that. I can always do research on that. I can go over here to Redbubble and I could type in nature, right? I can type in like wild nature. I could see what it says here. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's it's all up to you and how you want to create your design. So, um, you know, I could say uh, forever be wild and... You know, instead of free, I could say, uh, you know, hike, and I could make a hiking t-shirt out of it, right? And so that's exactly what I'm actually planning to do. So I'm going to take this Adventure Outfitters, I'm going to delete that section here, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm thinking of forever, I'm going to increase this, increase the size of this, this word here forever, because I want my design, I'm thinking in my head, I'm picturing something a little bit larger on a t-shirt, something a little bit larger. Now, what I want to do here also is this curve here, this angle, is a little bit too much for me. I want to edit that. I want to play around with that. So I'm going to hit this button that says Edit Transformation on the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to widen it out just like that, a little bit more, just like that. So that's kind of ideal for me. And I'm going to select that so it's right in the middle, kind of like this. 
And this, this text here that says wild, I'm going to take it. Now, these are like separations of text. This is not like a full on, you know, uh, word. I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this here, move this here. Okay, there's some stuff that's grouped together. So notice how this element is grouped together. But I'm going to make this a lot larger. Okay, so forever wild. I want to take this text here that says wild. I want to make it larger, just like that. I want to take this this little graphical um, extension, and I'm going to add it, but just in about a second. I want to make sure everything is centered, okay, the way it looks, kind of like this, okay? And I'm going to move this word and, I'm going to take this extension of what I said earlier, I'm just going to take it, pull it up, make it a little bit larger, kind of like this, just like that, forever wild, and... I'm going to remove these, the sunlight, or whatever that art piece was with the mountains and the sun. And I'm going to forever be wild. I'm going to add the word be here. Right? And I'm just going to move everything just slightly over. Just by millimeters. Not even something too crazy here. Okay? And I'm going to move this just like that. Be wild. And hike. Okay? Now, I don't like the way the word and looks on the bottom. So I'm going to move it here to the side and I'm going to have it relatively the same size as the word and uh, or excuse me B and I'm going to just make sure I'm playing around with how it fits properly on here. I can move it a little closer and hike. So here I have the word and hike but I want what I want to do is I want to increase the size of this and I want to edit the transformation once again. I'm thinking that I could do this kind of like that. And right now it might look a little odd, but hey, it's going to work. I'm going to add a little image down here, okay? So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I might get rid of it. I might keep it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might add it something like this. Uh, and I, I might have to ungroup it, actually. That's probably what's going to happen if I actually want to use it. So to ungroup, you're going to go over here, click on the right-hand side, and you're going to just select the ungroup button. And I can move this, put it here. Move this one, put it here, right? And this is just a little bit of an emphasis on the text. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, right? Just move it, little emphasis. And I know this is not perfectly even, but just for the time being, we're, we're going to just do a little, I guess you could say like a template mock-up, whatever you want to call it. Move this over kind of here a little bit. Move this here. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, you, you know, most people, they're not going to pick on it, uh, pick up right away on this. And now we're going to look for some images in the element section. So I want to take your attention here over to the left-hand side. We have a bunch of buttons. We have textures. We have uploads. We have elements, text, designs. We're going to go over here to elements. And what I'm going to search for is the word hike. I don't know what is going to come up, but I'm thinking of some things that are interesting. So we got a mountain range here. We got some... You know, like some snow uh, shoes or snow boots, whatever you want to call those things. Um, snow paddles. I don't really know what you would call them. Uh, but we got this here. I like this little mountain range kind of thing that's going on here. And I want to take this. And I want to see how it would look if I placed it behind the text. So I'm going to go over here and click send to the back. And let's see. Uh, you know, it doesn't even look that attractive. I'll be 100% honest with you. So I'm going to take this. Kind of like this. I'm going to delete this since section. And I'm going to look for a little bit more graphical elements. So I'm going to type in the word bird. We'll see what we could find. Maybe like an eagle or something. Like this is pretty cool. Right? And we'll just make this a little bit smaller. Add this like right here. Right? Something like this. And maybe we could take this. And let's go ahead and see if we can flip horizontally. So something like that. Make this smaller here. And I do like how sometimes the image can overlap on the text, you know, just a little bit. Not not too much, because then it'll be overwhelming, but just a little bit. And look at this, guys. I'm not a professional. The software is super easy to use, right? And more importantly, it's free. I can use this for free uh, to be able to use this. And I'm going to add an icon of a compass. Right, and the cool thing as well with this is that I can search for different elements, different things here, and um, it's all here for me. So, you know, I can make this smaller, 
And notice I'm not paying for any graphics, I'm not paying for any, any, um, you know, anything like that. And it's all here for me. And uh, like I said, these are different things that I can add to my design. And for me, I think this is pretty cool. Now, what I want to do is I want to solidify the colors because I got some colors that are all over the place here. So I'm going to click on this blue and I'm going to edit this blue. I want to stick with something like this brown color here. This brown, I actually do like it. I just want to make sure that it is the color that we're looking for. And this uh, bird, I want to go with the exact same thing, right? Just like that. And I could search for more, like, I could search for the word outdoors, see if anything else comes up, you know? Let me go ahead and type that in one more time. I guess it's, let me see, out outdoors, maybe? Yeah, see, nothing comes up for that. Outdoor gear, okay, this is cool. This is pretty cool. Um, you know, I could... You know, just thinking of where I could put this kind of stuff, you know, because it's always interesting to add uh, more pieces, but you got to know when to kind of put an end to it, right? Because sometimes you could be designing forever. But regardless, you guys got to kind of get the point. I, I think I actually like the design a little bit better without the compass. Um, but let me search for an eagle. How about that? Let me search for an eagle. And I want it to look realistic, though. So maybe something like this right here kind of like right there and go with once again the same brown color maybe like that you know something like that is pretty cool so that's that's what I'll go with and to this looks really cool in my opinion and just out of curiosity for a black background you know that's how it look with a black background that looks pretty cool to me as well um, if it's if it's totally up to me which it is uh, this the word hike here this red kind of shadow here. I want it to be the same color as this wild text. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here and just select boom right there just like that. This the word that the same thing with the word B and N is the same exact thing that I, I want. I want that like it's kind of like a golden brown and that's what I'm going to select here and just give some definition to the photo uh, especially with the birds in the background and maybe it might be a little bit better had I added like a picture of a bird here, or even remove this, I'm not sure, but, um, you know, it's all comes down to uh, opinion, and, you know, what you like to see. Make this just a little bit smaller here, and you, you, you'll you notice that, and this is something that I've taught in the courses, guys, is that what we don't want to do is we don't want to fall prey to uh, paralysis analysis. And really what paralysis analysis is, in my opinion, is it's sort of like a disease. If you're an artist, you always want to improve on your art. You always want to make it better. And of course, that's a great thing. It's a beautiful thing. The only problem is, is that if you're doing this for print on demand, your number one focus not only should be your work quality, but also your work production. And that's something we forget about. And it's really like running in place. If you're just trying to perfect a design, and you're not moving forward, you're not creating more art. And sometimes the quantity matters just as much as the quality. And a lot of people forget about quantity. I'm telling you this now, but you know, at the end of the day, you want to make a lot of sales. Well, we know that the more designs you have, the more traffic you get. And the more traffic you get creates more sales. Without traffic, sales don't come, right? Um, so you need the traffic and part of that is creating a lot of designs but the good thing about this software is that this software takes out the hard work aspect of it you know it helps us essentially step away from the hours and hours of countless designing I mean I've read comments from people saying they've spent hours uh, working on designs and yet no results or anything like that so you know in my opinion guys if it was up to me Use a software that you feel comfortable with creating a bunch of designs that look good. Let's go ahead and uh, download this design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the background and I'm just going to go, boom, transparent. And because I want to uh, keep the design the way it looks, I love the way it looks, I'm going to just hit download here. I'm going to download it in a PNG format. The fact that I downloaded it, I just have it saved now forever for the future. Uh, and I could use this on any platform I want. I could use this on, you know, 
uh, Redbubble, T Public, really whatever, and you guys will see in future videos how we go ahead and set that up. Uh, but here, let's go ahead and work on this one. So the cool thing about this one is this one is a little bit different. It says Red Mountain, let's go explore Wild Nature, the Adventure Camp. Um, you know, there's so many different ideas that I have here. And we have, instead of Red Mountain, let's search for the most common mountain. Just, just for, you know, just for the sake of it. Most common mountain. Or most well known or something like that. Most common mountain. Most well known mountain. Let's, let's search for that. Mount Everest probably. Yep, Mount Everest. So I'm actually going to take this out of here. And I'm type in Mount Everest. Right? Mount Everest. Okay? And uh, Mount Everest... I feel like I'm creating like a t-shirt that they'll be sold over there, but Mount Everest, right? Everest, uh, let's go explore. And um, let's go ahead and see here. What is this? Elevation, 29,000 feet. So uh, that's pretty high. So let's go ahead and copy this here. And the adventure, wild adventure, Mount Everest. Let's go explore. Uh, 29,000 feet, the adventure camp, let's type in here, let's take in, boom, 29,000 feet, 29, the estimated, let's type in EST for estimated, EST, estimated, 29,000 elevation, elevation, alright, so I'm going to leave that the way it is, kind of like that, but there we go, 29,000 foot elevation. So I'm gonna take this, let's go ahead and copy it. And for this, I'm going to move that section here. 29,000 foot elevation. Okay, and just like that, I've created a different style of design. Now. The way I'm thinking, there's a lot of elements here. We got some trees, we got some mountains, we got some birds. I'm happy with the way this looks. Um, you know, the way I see this is that I would like to see it personally in a different color scheme. I, I prefer like something like a black background with like a almost like a light style blue here, like um, like something like maybe a little bit darker than this. But uh, something like this, like that color blue, which I actually like. So let's go ahead and work on that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do that here with this, with this, uh, I guess you could say the sunset here. So we have different colors of blue here with this sunset. And I'm going to see what's going to come up. So we have different, right? like you can see, we just colored one little bar of the sunset. So I'm going to click on this one more time. And let's go with a different shade of blue here that might be a little bit darker, okay? And and we're going to click on this again. And I want to go with the one that was above it, so it was this one, to be something like this, for example, okay? And same thing, so I'm going to click on this, click on it once again, and get that blue. But I want to go with something that's... You know something like that and we're going to go again select something a little bit even brighter right so we have that and just like that a little bit brighter and one more time the last color blue and go with something even brighter than that so something like this now with the trees if it was up to me I would go with the darker colored trees so I don't want to say black but let's talk about a blue well, let's go with something like this that's that's kind of decent and that's what color is this what tint we're looking at a blue sort of like this okay so those are those are what we're gonna go for the trees and once again we don't need to have all these trees all these different elements but it's an idea okay and you don't have to have you want to have something that kind of sticks out for me the blue just resembles the snow just resembles the kind of the cool environment over there and cool is an understatement, uh, but you kind of get the point. And we're going to go with the birds here. We're going to go with 
um, something like this light, this light blue here. And for this, we can always go with something a little darker, I would say, a little darker of a tint, uh, something like that, right? 29,000 foot elevation. We can now actually get creative with the text, and that's what I'm going to do, is since we're here, I'm going to go with a arch, arch in terms of the text. I do want it to be a little bit more arched out, kind of like this, estimated elevation, and we're going to go with 23, is this, this to me it does not seem perfectly straight, that's about it, and you can see here, just like that, it is just about straight, now it does not look like that because the text here is not perfectly in the middle either, so, uh, but that's, that's just about where it's going to be, it's not going to get any better than that, we're going to take this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to enlarge this, the word elevation here. And hopefully, if everything is right, to me, I don't know if you guys could tell me this, but to me, it does give me that effect as if it is slanted, as if something is not straight. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And I believe it is part of this section right here. Let's just see if we can edit this slightly. Um, something like that. That does look better in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but leave it in the comments down below and something like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and go with the color edits. So let's go with something here and the 23, whatever, let's go with, uh, let's go with this color, right? Something a little bit darker, the estimated, and we'll go with here. And that's about it. So that's, that's a different, t-shirt design that we just created as well so there's there's loads here of, of things that we can do I can take this background here I can make this you know pretty transparent just like that and you can see it looks great um, so if you want to create designs like these um, head over to the link in the description once again three months free access no credit card required uh, invite only might I add this is invite only um, you know, uh, to a software like this, easy to use, very, very easy to use, very user friendly. Uh, more importantly, you created a professional design uh, without having to break your back. Let's go ahead and be honest. A lot of people spend a lot of unnecessary amount of time creating designs. Um, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, this will be the tool for you to change how things are. You know, change the outcome and actually make print on demand a fun experience. I'm telling you guys this. That you got to sign up to this because it's a free tool. It doesn't cost you anything. More importantly, I think you're genuinely going to enjoy the print on demand process more. When I see these designs, guys, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave this, the editor right here. When I see all these designs, I get excited. I don't know about you, but I get excited. So click that link, sign up, get yourself a, a, a three month uh, free subscription. Now, something I want to show you guys here, I'm going to go on my account and I'm going to. Uh, go over here to account settings and I'm going to show you guys the subscription here I have the expert account not because I paid for it uh, be because it's uh, the three months uh, come with it for free now you can have a free account but once again the expert is invite only and so you can get three months of invite only get access to the 10 gigabytes of upload space all that kind of cool stuff PDF export SVG export uh, that's some really, really cool stuff that you could help grow your business, help grow your print on demand business, and create designs for other people. I mean, you could start a Fiverr business and uh, create some designs on Fiverr if that's what you're into. I know me personally, I'm not, but you could do a lot with this. You can create designs for companies. You can, you know, do a whole lot. So uh, if this is something you're interested in, you want to create some designs the same way I did, uh, click that link and uh, go ahead and get started.